yeah, wh what's what's the deal with the CTF? Who's who's making it? Um, how's it how's it going to be run? All right, so I'm actually really excited about this because I I didn't really want a CTF. I, I ultimately what I wanted to see have a set, like do was let's get some real like programs in and let's do like actual almost like a mini life hacking event type thing, right? Maybe one day we'll figure it out in the future, um, but in reality it wasn't going to happen this year. And so what really what we envisioned was like an intentionally vulnerable web application that you don't have instructions, you're not guided, you don't have a path. It's just like, here's this environment, go hack it, right? And maybe there's a program page that talks about what's in scope and what's allowed and whatever. Um, and so we wanted it to feel like a real bug bounty situation where you're just going to this website and you find a bug and you write a report. And then that report gets triaged and you get points based on your report. And so that was kind of like the vision. And so we started reaching out to a bunch of vendors to try to make this happen. And, and then we finally came across uh, these guys uh, based out of Dubai. They're called CTF AE. And they were just super passionate about, about the project. We hopped on a call and they were super excited about it. Um, they've done really big CTFs for Black Hat in, in that region before. And so they definitely have the experience that they, you know, to do something at the scale we need. Um, so yeah, they, they've kind of like taken the idea and they've, expanded on it and ran with it. And so now we have this web application, but it's not just one, it's like multiple applications that Sweet. have APIs and there's LLM components. And it's like this whole system awesome. 